picture, if you will, a game that is priced accordingly, that you would have to make this pay- one-time payment at least once a year to justify keeping your key. Picture a developer that is so petty that he uses this justification to revoke your key just because you stepped out of line. We go over that game, Task Force, in the next Sanji Imura experience. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Sanji Imura. I'd like to thank you for watching the Sanji Imura Experience 003 Task Force. Today, we're going to go over uh, Task Force the game, what it, and Abel Green's band specifically. Now, I got the full text of the email by watching Sid Alpha's video, a friend of the channel, and um, a really good mentor to me. So what we're going to do is have a little discussion over Abel Green's band specifically and what it means to pay a king's ransom in the amount of $25 in order to justify your copy of the game being kept. We're going to justify, well, we're not going to justify. We are going to criticize the game. And hopefully we can see what uh, what kind of inability that its developer, Redline, doing business as Tracer Interactive. And we're going to see what sort of pettiness that the, that the game developers have for revoking hundreds of keys, including friend of the channel Big Fry TV's. So, without further ado, let's see what we can do regarding Abel Green's ban. Now, I'm not going to quote the, the ban. I'm not going to quote or put it up on video because I don't, I don't necessarily want to be accused of copyright theft. But what I will do is I will just, I will, uh basically summarize the email hello mr abel green this is tracer interactive we noticed that you haven't been paying us to allow you to keep your bronze levels level of support so what we're going to do is we're going to downgrade you to to our free trade, free, uh, 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 okay, you can shut the fuck up. Okay, what the, what this email basically states is he hadn't paid Tracer Interactive the required amount of money in 27, 2018 and 2019 when he bought the game at $20 in 2017. Now, they used the fact that they undervalued, he paid less, you know what, this is completely mind-blowing, because normally when you buy early, buy in early access, and this is how it, the game is supposed... This is how the, the system is supposed to work. You pay less for less features of the game. And as more features get added on, it justifies the price increase. But what happened here, ladies and gentlemen, is that this game developer used the price increase to justify a key revocation. Now, I have a couple of reasons why I have a personal problem with this game. And one of those reasons is they only sell the game 
twice a year. Gee, I wonder why. Does it have anything to do with SOCOM being... SOCOM's assets being used in the game? Uh, I think so. Because Big Fry managed to track down not one, not two, but three different SOC accounts for Redline. Big Fry TV managed to nail Redline for using Sock Puppet accounts. And one of those one of those accounts the servers currently up for task force is only using those art assets that this account is using as this account created workshop assets that lock the game for those who don't have it. This account is somewhat a developer hiding under a sheep's skin. This developer is using a price increase to justify a key revocation. This developer has in his terms of service that you will not abuse a v Tracer Interactive or its affiliates. Can we say with no uncertain terms that Tracer Interactive has using multiple accounts to lock the game behind a loop hole. Now, I'm going to stop here, ladies and gentlemen, because the fact of the matter is, is that if this developer is picking up his ball and going home... Not unlike Steve Austin when he retired from WWE back in 2000-ish. Back in the 2000s. Now this developer is taking his ball and going home. Now, I'm not going to say that Task Force is a good game. It's not. But what I am going to say is that its developer is childish, most petty individual that I have ever encountered. That is not the likes... <coughs> Excuse me, folks. That is unlike... J.O. Atabertiev... LaCroix and any other developer or publisher that I have ever encountered. Redline will soon have a massive meltdown and he will take Task Force and go home. Anyway, this has been Sanji Himura. I'd like to thank you for watching the Sanji Himura experience. And I'll see you on the next one.